Hi, I'm Anastasia. I'm a handbag addict, Louis Vuitton authenticator, and I also own a consignment store that has a lot of beautiful Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Hermes, Valentino, Yves Saint Laurent bags. You can check out the link below if you're interested. You know, I mostly see authentic bags and authentic items, but whenever my clients bring a fake item to me, I always try to do a video review um, on what are the differences between fake items and real items. So here's the question. Which of these two zippy wallets is authentic? Okay, so I'm not gonna keep this secret until the end of the video. This wallet is authentic and this wallet is fake. It's a pretty good fake actually, so let's see the differences and understand how uh, this fake zippy can be identified as a fake item. Let's start from the leather and they do look very similar. However, there are differences. If we look at the vernis print and to be precise at this flower element, we do see that these flowers are different, right? This one has, uh, well, the petals are a little bit larger, right? And the middle of the flower, the, this element in the middle, is smaller on the fake wallet and is larger on an authentic wallet. Well, that's uh, not, not a huge difference. And uh, if you don't have an item to compare, this wallet looks pretty normal. I mean, all the Louis Vuitton uh, logos and monogram elements, they, they are pretty good. Okay, now let's move on to the hardware. Now the hardware is also similar, but we uh, can see uh, several giveaways here. First of all, that uh, Louis Vuitton embossing looks a little bit uh, sloppier than this one. But again, we can only see that uh, when we have an item to compare to. By itself, it looks pretty good, and I've seen a lot of items that have an, an embossing similar to that. However, there's another giveaway, and it's very important, guys. So we do see that the gold color uh, is pretty different. I mean, the, the gold cover here is scratched through the uh, zipper puller. You can see that, right? Well, this wallet is a little bit newer. This and th this one is more used, but uh, we do see that uh, there are a lot of scratches that show the uh, silverware here. And that doesn't happen with the authentic Louis Vuitton items. I mean, they do have some hardware scratches, of course, and they do have, uh, well, their, their uh, gold hardware is turning silver at some point, but it's never like this. Just if you look closer, you can see the small scratches and under the gold cover, the hardware is silver. That's very interesting. Another interesting point is that this part of the zipper is different in shape. And again, if we look closer, um, they are different, but it actually doesn't mean anything because Louis Vuitton used both this and this type of zippers and uh, they can be of different shape, but it's just a nice thing to notice. If we go uh, back to examining the leather, there's another difference uh, that cannot be shown on pics or in the video. But believe me, when you hold them, when you feel the leather, it feels very, very different. Now, if we touch this leather, the authentic Louis Vuitton leather, the hand is gliding across the wallet. And if we touch this leather, well, it's not that easy and not that nice. But again, you can only notice that when you have two items in your hands. Now, moving on to the inside of the wallet. And here we do see that an authentic wallet can be opened easily. And the fake wallet, I mean, it's more firm and the leather doesn't feel so good and soft. One of the first things we have to examine here is the heat stamp. And uh, I will try to show it to you guys. Now here's an authentic heat stamp. It's beautiful and it looks just the way it's supposed to look. And here comes the uh, fake heat stamp. It looks pretty nice, 
I mean, there are no uh, instant giveaways, and uh, if you don't look closely, you can just say that uh, this heat stamp is authentic and it looks just the way it's supposed to look. But here's a giveaway. Just look at the word Paris and look at the R very closely. Compare it to the authentic R and that's just the way it's supposed to look. And it does look different here. Now the most interesting part is examining the date code. And here's the date code of an authentic Louis Vuitton wallet. You can see the picture on the screen. And here's the date code of the fake wallet. Here it is. And the most interesting thing is that this fake wallet does have a legit date code. This date code is valid. If you uh, check it through any online checker, including the checker on our website, it will tell you that the item is authentic because that, that's an existing factory which was uh, operating in this year, in uh, 2011. And uh, well, this date code does appear authentic. And here's the most interesting thing, guys. This date code is absolutely legit. Why we need a professional authentication after after we just check the date code and get the verdict. Imagine that you are an art dealer and you're interested in paintings and you're interested in paintings from famous painters and someone comes to you and brings you a Van Gogh painting. And they say, well, here's an authentic Van Gogh painting because it has the initials, the Van Gogh signature on the picture. And then you are like, what? That it doesn't work like that. We need to check multiple factors to consider the picture, the painting authentic. And that includes the age of the painting, the uh, canvas, the colors used. I mean, are they typical for that time? Are they typical for Van Gogh? Uh, we have to take into account uh, thousands of factors. We have to check the um, painting in a different ways. In a similar way, a legit date code doesn't mean that a uh, Louis Vuitton item is authentic. Fakes are getting better and better and they know perfectly which type of factory to use and how to decipher the date code. And they decipher it in consistence with the production years of that or this item. So the date code may be legit and on, on a good fake, it will be legit. Whenever you need to authenticate an item, please order professional authentication, guys. And I can tell you how many times my customers saved money after authenticating an item, which turned out to be fake. They either were able to get their money back or just dismiss the item and not order it because it apparently was fake. If you need a professional authentication of a Louis Vuitton item, you can contact me via Facebook page or just order professional authentication on the lvbagaholic.com website. Okay, that was it. And uh, if you'd like more videos on authentication, here is a playlist. It contains a lot of videos on Chanel and Louis Vuitton. And uh, subscribe to the channel because I enjoy posting authentication videos and explaining the giveaways between fakes and authentic items. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, and see you next week. Bye.